Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Vicious. Today I'm coming at you with kind of a tutorial and kind of a tip, or more or less just some information. There's a, a neat program that I want to share with you, and it's called Actual Multi-Monitor, and I'll find the website address and all that and put it in the description of the video for you. But it has one really neat feature that I discovered, and it's actually the reason I discovered the program, and I want to show you its practical uses. This is for two different crowds of people, the widescreen gaming forum that I'm an editor for, uh, you guys might find this useful for a lot of different things. And also the XSplit community, because I'm a streamer, you guys obviously do a lot of stuff with XSplit. And uh, this is a feature that you can take advantage of now. If you're a paid XSplit user, you have the game capture feature, so you can now play your games full screen and not windowed. So what I have on screen here, there was no way for me to capture this on my desktop. It just wasn't one, was not going to work. So I'm using the uh, camcorder behind me, and I'm just going to have to describe what I'm doing. Uh, as best I can. I have on my left monitor right now XSplit running. In the center monitor is StarCraft 2 full screen and on my right monitor is my Twitch TV dashboard. This would be my um, standard streaming setup for, for when I'm doing say a StarCraft 2 live stream. And you can do most of your XSplit features with hotkeys while you're in a game but sometimes it's easier to go and do it manually or you might have to go do it manually. And here's the problem with anything in a full screen game. If you need to go do anything outside of the game, you have to press Alt and Tab. And that's going to minimize your game and make you go to your desktop. If you go to start broadcasting, then you got to go tab back into the game. Uh, for just starting a recording or something, that's not too big of a deal. But what if you're trying to interact with your audience? On my right monitor, I have the chat. You can talk to them, obviously, but sometimes you want to go and actually... Uh, type something in or you might have some moderation duty you need to do so how do you do that without interrupting your game and alt tabbing is just not a good way to do it and actual multiple monitors here's the little uh, control panel here in the middle of my monitor if you go to the hotkey section there's one particular function that is really really interesting it's called ignore deactivation and I have it set to control and I as a hotkey combo right now and what this does for the game, and you toggle that hotkey combination, it's just control and I for me, you can now mouse off of your game as if it was a windowed game without it minimizing, and you can fully interact with all these things that you would normally have to tab out of the game for. So I can start my broadcast on XSplit, I can change the layer order, I can uh, go fiddle with my volume if I need to, if I'm on Twitch TV over here I can go chat with people. And when I'm done, I'm just going to go click back on my game and hit the hotkey combo again and resume like normal as if nothing happened. That is really awesome, isn't it? So this is uh, something I discovered just by random chance while I was searching for some full screen streaming stuff on StarCraft 2. Tried it out for myself. I thought it was really neat. I got it working. I tried it out. And so I thought I'd let you guys know about it. So this is kind of a plug for that program because I think it's actually something you guys might want to look into. And I'll see you guys later with some more tutorials and videos.